So now let's look at simulating these patterns, but first we need to organize them and arrange them in this viewport um, so that they all pull together. If you look when I run the simulation now, they're all just going to drop to the floor as you can see. So let's click this to reset the uh, pattern. So we have our front patterns there, so let's just move this one up. This pattern here is overlapping that one for some reason, so let's just move that back over there. So let's select our rear patterns here, and I'm just holding down shift. And again, the gizmo isn't orientated correctly, so I'm going to go to preferences, gizmo, world coordinates. So that will allow me to just move these back. And then we can select them in here, move these over, move these over like so. And rather than rotate them, we could just right click in this view and go to flip horizontally, which is just off the top of the window. Um, I'll see if I can drag this down. Here we go, flip horizontally, flip vertically. So if we flip that horizontally, then that's orientated correctly. Do the same here. And then we want to move these up. And maybe pull those in a bit too. So what we have to think about is as this is simulated, once we've sewn the edges together, they're going to pull together. So they're going to wrap around the figure. So we have to think about where these are going to go. Because not only will they be pulling together, but gravity, gravity will also be pulling them down to the ground. So let's select these. Move these up. And move these over to the middle of the body. And this time we're just going to roughly rotate these like that. So they're roughly in position. But again, if we hit simulate, nothing's really going to happen. And that's because we need now need to sew these all together. Um, and I think what we might do is we'll take a break here. And we will continue in the next lesson and look at starting to sew these uh, pieces of patterns together.